Michelle with Farmhouse Living and welcome back to our channel. We have another fall inspiration video. So uh, uh, last week, right? We did yeah. a fall home tour mm -hmm. and this week we are doing a tablescape, a new tablescape idea and also a dinner menu, whether you're having a party or you need some ideas to prep for the holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas. We just wanted to share some decorating and entertaining tips. Mom is the hostess with the mostest, so she's got the ideas for all so, of us. So, well, remember I told you all if you watched the last video that I never switch up my plates, but we did it. Yeah, we did. So, I like this because both the tablescape in the last video was a little bit unconventional in colors because it included navy as an autumn palette, and this one is unconventional because it's all jade and like, but I guess it's not completely unconventional because Cinderella pumpkins are pretty trendy. So anyways, the, the jade plates is kind of what launched us into this idea. We love vintage inspired stuff. So when we, we found these Pioneer Woman plates and she has this whole set that kind of, it all looks vintage yeah, to it me. really does look vintage yeah so mm -hmm. we we got that and then launched from there so mom why don't you tell them about the centerpiece and kind of where you got that well in. you had shared a pinterest with me and so that's where i got the idea for the moss grass and i just think it's really nature and then again like you mentioned we did the cinderella pumpkins and we matched it with the jade. Mm -hmm. There's some jade pumpkins, some of the pretty, uh, it's not orange, it's, what color is that? It's like very soft. soft. Almost a peachy orange. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So uh, the yeah. whole color palette is pretty soft yes. and clearly nature inspired. I feel like that's the, our um, theme of fall, probably fall and Christmas, is nature inspired just because we love those earthy tones and honestly, it's effortless. You don't have to fight for the look. It's not too much work. Right, so and then we did a big tall arrangement in the middle of the table. These are tall mm -hmm. ceilings. So we just use a lot of greenery to really give it height. And then of course our pompous grass, which we have told you we feel like if you have pompous grass, pumpkins, some pine cones, you're good. You've got it. You've got the ingredients for fall. So one thing that we, when we finished this, it did not feel finished and we went back and forth and originally we thought we needed maybe white plates to layer under the bowls with the pumpkins. But then um, mom found the clever idea of just tucking a piece of pompous grass underneath the bowl and I think it looks amazing and I love that you didn't find that on the internet. Not that the, the internet is a bad place to find inspiration because it's a gold mine and we look there every day but that was just like she just stuck it under there and it yeah. worked and that is honestly but so fun when that works like that yes and then we also we added a few succulents and then that really completed the entire table yep yeah and so now this will probably stay like this for through the, through the holidays yeah mm -hmm. so First we had navy, now we had jade. I would love to know which is your favorite tablescape. I will actually pop both pictures up. I want to know in the comments, and I also would love to know what colors you're incorporating into your fall home decor, or if you're just doing the typical, like, auburn, kind of orangey. Yeah, but it, I mean, there's no wrong in any of them. We I don't think there's anything wrong. Some people do. Some, some people traditional have, people. Some people have strong opinions, but we honestly we love everything. Like right. if it's pretty in a home, we're like, ah, oh my gosh. So that's you can do no harm, and we would love to know in the comments. Let's talk about the menu. Yes, the menu. So you are not a traditional turkey. Girl. No. So I am not a holiday food person as much as other people. So like that turkey, ham thing is not my GM and I, no hate don't don't come at me it, because I don't <laughs> like the same we thing. come at her so yeah. it's okay because some of us in the family are turkey fans but we do try to accommodate so yeah. maybe we'll do a Cajun Christmas or um, we've done Mexican food yeah but we're trying some new recipes so we created a menu that 
was different and had some fun flavor notes whether you're doing like a dinner party or just having your family over or actually using it for Thanksgiving Christmas whatever we went to the Pioneer Woman's website and just like picked through a bunch of recipes um, I mean you can't go yeah. wrong with the Pioneer Woman so, so if these are yummy then we'll have them at we'll have them at Thanksgiving yeah but so the first thing that we made was a pork tenderloin with a cranberry sauce Mm -hmm. Then she is famous for mac and cheese, so we did mac and cheese, and I mean, can't go wrong with mac and Hopefully cheese. Hopefully not. Yeah, we'll see. we'll see. And then Brussels sprouts with cranberries, bacon, and maple syrup. Maple syrup. Yep. Apple juice. Yeah. All that's got to make it good. It's got to make it good. And then we did a pumpkin um, bunt cake, mm -hmm. and then last a um, sparkling like cranberry cranberries. Spencer thing, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, that's our whole menu for today. It's just our family, but we're kind of doing some trial and error for you guys. Also, just like we love to try new things. I feel like during the fall, specifically, it's a great time to just experiment in the kitchen. It's not so hot so when your oven's going. You're not like right. you're, in Texas. You like turn your oven on. You're gonna toast yourself in the summer. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's a good time to like try new things, use new ingredients, and so that's what we're doing today. Yeah. And when you have a tablescape so pretty, you gotta, right. you gotta serve up the right food. So anyways, I will leave the menu down below. I would love to know if you've tried these things. I would also love to know what your favorite recipes during this time period are, like what your fall favorites are. Are you traditional turkey? Or yeah. in ham, or are you a mix it up kind of gal? Yeah, we would love to know. Or we love good, whoever you are. <laughs> <laughs> so close us out, mom. All right, so like, subscribe, and we'll have all the links to the recipes and these beautiful jade platters, plates, yep. and everything to make this tablescape if you'd like to do it at home. Yep. Yeah. And I have all the pictures on the blog and details if you are a blog reader. We always leave the details there and we give a little bit more. And we'll give you feedback on the food. Yep. We will, yes. Because yes. we haven't eaten it yet. No. So we will be able to give those details there. Yeah. So if we hate it. We'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be so good. <laughs> That's not going to happen. But anyways, we hope that you have an amazing day. Again, I love to hear from you in the comments. So make sure that you leave us a comment and talk to us. I will reply. And have a wonderful fall. Happy fall. Yeah. Bye. Bye.